Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Literary Lutheran Reads a Book of Proverbs. This episode is for Wednesday, and today we read Proverbs chapter 6. My son, if you guarantee a loan for a neighbor or pledge yourself by a handshake with a stranger, you are trapped by what you say, caught by your promise. Now do this, my son, and free yourself, because you have put yourself into your neighbor's hands. Go, humble yourself, pester your neighbor. Don't give your eyes any sleep or your eyelids any slumber. Free yourself like a gazelle from what holds you and like a bird from the bird catcher. Go to the ant, you lazy one. Watch her ways and get wise. She had no judge, overseer, or governor. In summer she prepares her nourishment, in the harvest she gathers her food. How long are you going to lie there, you lazy one? Where are you going to get up from your sleep? Just a little sleep, a little more slumber, a little more folding the hands to rest. So your poverty will come like a drifter and your need like a bandit. A worthless person and a villain is a man who is dishonest in speech. He winks his eyes, shuffles his feet, points his fingers. With a devious mind, he is always scheming and spreading discord. That is why disaster will come on him suddenly. In a moment, he will be crushed beyond recovery. Six things the Lord hates, even seven he detests. Proud-looking eyes, a lying tongue, hands that kill innocent people, a mind making wicked plans, feet that are quick to do wrong, a dishonest witness telling lies, and the man who stirs up quarrels between brothers. My son, do what your father orders, and don't reject your mother's teaching. Fasten them forever on your heart, tie them around your neck. When you walk around, they'll lead you. When you lie down, they'll watch over you. And when you wake up, they'll talk to you because a commandment is a lamp and a teaching is a light. And the rules of discipline are the path of life, keep, keeping you from a bad woman and from the smooth tongue of a loose woman. Don't use your mind to lust for her beauty and don't let her catch you with her eyes. A prostitute's price is a loaf of bread, but a married woman hunts a man's very life. Can a man take fire into his lap without getting his clothes burned? Or can anyone walk on red-hot coals without getting his feet scorched? So it is with the man who has sexual relations with his neighbor's wife. Anyone who touches her will not escape punishment. People don't despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his appetite when he's hungry. But when he's caught, he has to pay back seven times and give up all the goods in his house. Anyone who commits adultery with a woman doesn't have any sense. When he violates her, he destroys himself. He will get wounds and dishonor, and his disgrace will not be blotted out because jealousy makes a husband furious. He will have no mercy when he takes revenge. No money you pay him will move him, and the biggest bribe will not satisfy him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This has been the Literary Lutheran Reads a Book of Proverbs, and I wish you a blessed day.